FIFA 20 is out, and if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins to get your dream squad, make sure you check out my sponsor, u7buy.com. They provide a cheap and reliable service for coins and accounts. Link in the description. Use code Haber and get yourself an extra 5% off when you are at the checkout. How's it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, what I've got for you is my stop. Okay, all right. I'm going to clarify real quick. I say starter squad. It is the squad I am starting FIFA with. It is not a cheap starter squad. It is not a starter squad where people think it is. By definition, it is a starter squad, but it's not um, It's not a starter squad for everyone. Like, Not a lot of people will be able to afford this at all. It's a very expensive squad, um, but it's a squad I'm starting FIFA with. I'm starting FIFA 20 with this squad, um, and I'm really enjoying it. So I thought I'd show you guys the squad, show you guys some in-game uh, in footage. I thought I'd show you my custom tactics and talk you through my initial thoughts on FIFA 20 and the gameplay and stuff like that. So without further ado, I think we jump straight into it. Now, starting off in goal, I've gone with Thibaut Courtois. Um, he feels like a pretty solid goalkeeper, six foot six, pretty fast on the ball. Um, got a good throw, a great kick as well. His kick feels really, really good. Um, he just feels like a pretty decent uh, goalkeeper, really. He just feels like he's, um, you know, he makes some decent saves here and there. Uh, he's just a, he's a goalkeeper, really. Goalkeepers are pretty much the same in every FIFA. I feel like they're they're not amazing and they're not bad. Um, although the one keeper I do want to try out is Allison. Allison seems incredible in this game. Anyway, moving in at right centre back now, we are going to go with Rafael Varan. Um, very expensive card actually. I managed to pack him luckily, um, but he's uh, I think he's going for like. I don't know. I want to say 200k, maybe something like that. Let me actually check how much he's going for right now. Um, Rafael Varane on footbin is currently going for roughly 170,000 coins. So he's pretty expensive. Over here on the left, we've actually got his teammate, um, and that is going to be uh, where is he? Where are you? Edem I actually got a red card in my last game, so I thought I'd start recording this now to show you guys uh, the team and stuff like that. Um, he feels not great. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, he doesn't feel quick. He doesn't feel strong and his tackling isn't amazing. Now, maybe that's just me not enjoying defending this year. I think defending is a little bit too the other way. I think that they've tried to correct AI defending and gone a little bit too far because now when I'm controlling a defender, uh, I will see what I think will be an option for me to lunge into a player and the player will just run straight past me and then my player will lunge or my player will just go nowhere near the ball and stuff like that. I think they've gone a little bit too far the other way. I'm not personally enjoying it that much. Um, but Varane feels pretty solid. However, if you get done with a three ball, no defenders catching whoever it is. I I, I couldn't catch Tammy Abraham with Ed Emelitao and Varane. It was, it was scary. Uh, over on the left-back spot, we have gone with uh, Marcelo, who uh, obviously had a downgrade, but still looks like a solid card. And he plays pretty well in-game, five-star skills. Uh, if I was changing the squad, I would try Mendy. Um, I'll tell you how I would change the squad, actually, at the end of the squad. Now, on the right-hand side, we've actually gone with uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, because this is a uh, it's a two-league squad. Um, so we've gone with Trent at right-back. I am not the biggest fan of this card. Uh, it doesn't feel very fast, and he's not amazing at uh, tackling, but his dribbling and passing feels really good. So going forward, he is a fantastic right back, but staying back, he's just not great at all. Uh, now, we'll go with the left centre mid now. Over at left centre mid, we have gone with... Uh, where is he? 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 He is 81 rated. You probably guessed who it is already. It is N Dom Belay, or N Dom Belay, or N Dom Belay. I don't know how you want to say this guy. I don't really care. Point for 18,000 coins. Uh, how much is he selling for now? He is currently going for a whopping 18,000 coins still. Four-star skills. This guy feels solid in game. Feels like a really good uh, center mid slash CDM. Uh, plays really well. Uh, I do like this card a lot. I think that he, he gets in good positions and he, he just he has a positive impact on the game. I do like that a lot. And he wins quite a few headers as well. Over here on the other side, we have actually got uh, a CDM at center mid. We've gone with Fabinho. Uh, Fabinho uh, bought him for 79,000 coins. Uh, feels good. His pace doesn't feel bad at all. I know his pace looks horrendous at 68, but it doesn't feel bad at all. Um, I would personally whack a pace chem style on as well, maybe a shadow or something like that, or a, or a catalyst. Um, aside from that, he feels really good in game. He feels like he did last year. Honestly, I don't, I didn't really notice a difference with with Fabinho from from last year to this year. He feels really, really solid, really reliable, like a great uh, CDM slash centre mid all round. Now over at Cam, we've gone with Lucas Mora. Where is he? Uh, the man himself, Lucas Mora over here. This guy is OP. Now the stats do not do him justice. Uh, I've played a few online friendlies against friends. Um, 
um, where stats do not count and do not carry over. Therefore, um, he's played more than five games and he's definitely scored goals and he's definitely had more assists. He's actually really OP, really, really quick, great, agile on the ball, uh, feels amazing in game. I really do like Lucas Mora. Now, over at left wing, possibly my second favorite player in the game so far, it's Anthony Martial. Feels absolutely incredible, really quick, agile, amazing on the ball, fantastic shot. Um, Really, really enjoying Anthony Martial. He feels incredible. Picked him up for about 50,000 coins. I think he's probably probably about the same price right now as well. Over at right wing, we have gone with the most expensive player in the squad. It is Mohamed Salah, who is uh, currently about 400,000 coins. Um, he feels great on the ball. Uh, he's got a fantastic shot. He just feels like a really good overall player, as a night rate player should. And then at striker, we've gone with my favorite player that I've used so far on the game. It is actually going to be Marcus Rashford, who I think I picked up for about 70,000, sorry, 65,000 coins. Uh, this guy is absolutely nuts. He's insane. He's unreal on the ball. Uh, his shot is incredible. Uh, his skills are great. Really silky. Really good on the ball. Um, and he's just overall a fantastic player. And that is my first squad for FIFA 20. I don't know exactly the price. If I was to guess... I could probably work it out real quick. Just weighs it out, and the price of this squad is about 920,000 coins. It's actually more than I expected, to be fair. About 920k, roughly, is the price of this squad, give or take. Might go up a little bit, might go down a little bit. Who actually knows? Uh, but that is the price of this squad. If you guys have enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Make sure that you uh, enjoy the clips. I'm about to show you, about to show you a bunch of clips of me playing the game. Let me know down below your thoughts on uh, FIFA 20 so far. If you enjoyed the game or not, I'd love to hear it. Thank you all for your epic support recently. And I'll see you lads later.